Hey guys, what's up? This is Bharat. Today we are checking out something really cool. This phone costs only about 9,000 to 10,000 Indian rupees. It's roughly 150 US dollars. But this phone is called the S8 for a reason. And that reason is that this phone is actually a pretty good knockoff of the Samsung Galaxy S8. Now this is the Blue Boo S8 and we've seen a bunch of Blue Boo phones in the past and we've done a review of the Blue Boo S1. So if you guys haven't already checked that out, I'll leave a link on the top right in that information tab over there. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. There are some details on the back of the box. You do have a MediaTek 6750, you do get Android 7, and you do have a 5.7 inch, 18 is to nine aspect ratio on this phone, which is incredible. You also have a 3450 milliamp hour battery, something that even Samsung doesn't do. And this device also does something additional that Samsung doesn't do, which is, They've placed the fingerprint sensor in quite an interesting position according to the images that I have seen of this phone. So let's quickly open this box up. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the box also is quite identical to the box of the Samsung Galaxy S8. So here's the phone inside the box. The form factor is quite like the S8 as well. I'm going to place it to the side and see what else is inside the box. You do have the USB cable inside the box as well. It is a USB Type-C cable, which is great. You also have a wall charger, a five volt and 2000 milliamp charger. You do have a standard USB port over here. And that is essentially everything from the box. You do have some documentation, I assume. Oh, there is a dongle adapter. That means that this phone doesn't have a 3.5 mm headphone jack, uh, which is something that I'll check out, but something that Samsung managed to install uh, but these guys, possibly because of the large battery that they've included, you also get what appears to be a SIM ejector tool. And uh, then you also have uh, the back cover, which is nice to have because I'm assuming this phone will get scratched easily. You do have a screen protector for the front. There is a thank you card in there. There is a warranty card in here, which is obviously not stamped. And then you also have a booklet, which appears to be in a bunch of languages. So that's nice. Okay, so this is the device itself. Actually, you don't even need to do that. You just slide out. But you can see that this is quite identical to the Samsung Galaxy S8, but they do have dual cameras and they seem to have got the location of the fingerprint sensor quite right. So maybe Samsung, if you're watching, if your design team is watching, you should definitely take some ideas from uh, Blue Boo. All I can see is some Chinese text on the screen. I'm assuming it's in some sort of bootloader mode. Hopefully I set it to reset. So hopefully it'll launch with Android. But the screen and the back is extremely glossy and you can easily get it to That was that animation sound over there, but you can easily get it to smudge. That doesn't seem to be in the right place. But the device does have a curved display. I don't know if you guys can see, which is quite identical to that on the S8 with the curves on the edges of the screen. There is a little bit of a bezel around the display, so it's not edge to edge like say in the S8, but this is quite cool. I'm gonna skip all of this. That's it, that's what the phone looks like. It's quite like the S8 if you ask me. The operating system is also somewhat cleaned up. It is running 360 OS, and there is a new version that has already been downloaded apparently. So I'm gonna do that later on. But if I quickly jump into the settings panel and uh, jump into about phone, you can see it's running Android 7. So there is no push button over here, but there is haptic feedback every time I tap on these keys at the bottom. So much like the S8, if you tap on this button, you get some sort of haptic feedback. You're getting that with this device as well. If I jump into really quickly, I wanna see how good the fingerprint sensor is. So unlock with the fingerprint sensor, fingerprint per spin. I'm gonna set a really hardcore code. There we go, to all notification content. I have located the fingerprint sensor quite easily. Are you listening, Samsung? Seems to be taking longer than usual. Let me add my other finger as well quickly. The fingerprint sensor is pretty good if you get it in the right place. There is a slight bit of lag, but uh, it works. So I also like the fact that I can locate it easily because the texture of the button or the fingerprint sensor in itself 
is quite prominent and the shape of the fingerprint sensor is also different from that of the camera lens so it's quite easy to locate also it's a lot easier to reach than if say if it was here um, like it is on the S8 so as you can see both of these devices are quite glossy in, in themselves and uh, the shape of the phone is also quite identical to the S8 but this one is definitely heavier and thicker than the S8 you do have a frame on the side of the phone so definitely not the complete S8 experience but you're quite close and then it is not exactly a clone it's a phone by a company Blue Boo is definitely more renowned than a standard clone manufacturer but this is definitely a copy if uh, you've seen a copy this is definitely a copy of the S8 you do have a bunch of preloaded applications over here but before I get into all of that let's quickly talk about the hardware so as far as the device is concerned over at the front you do get a 5.7 inch display now this is a display made by Sharp the resolution on this is 1440 by 720 so it is a 720p display with an 18 is to 9 aspect ratio now just above the display is the earpiece which also is next to the 5 megapixel camera which gives you apparently a 8 megapixel in uh, software which is strange but the actual sensor is 5 megapixel and it is a fixed focus sensor now all the android buttons that you require are on screen so you'll have to use them on screen and there are no buttons over here and at the bottom of the device uh, you do have the usb type c port along with the grill which is a speaker grill and then you also have a pinhole for the microphone which is incidentally quite close to the speaker over to the right is where your power button is it's conveniently placed and your thumb will sit on it and it'll be easy to activate the device over at the top is where your sim tray is this device is a dual sim device and over at the left is where your volume buttons are and there's nothing else on the left of the device over at the back you can see it has a really glossy fingerprint and smudge friendly back panel but you do have dual sensors one is a 13 megapixel sensor whereas the other is a 3 megapixel focus sensor you also have the fingerprint scanner over here the dual led flash and apparently they're not too sure if people will know it says camera dual because you can't really see if there are two cameras you also have the blue boo logo over here and nothing else the phone curves into the shape of your hand quite nicely if you look at the screen the screen is quite nice to look at you have really nice viewing angles overall it fits into the hand quite nicely the device does have a 3450 milliamp hour battery which is definitely more than that of the s8 now like i said it is missing a 3.5 mm headphone jack but you do get a dongle with the device itself now because it's running 360 os you do get a bunch of these applications including this ram cleaner that opens up your ram a little bit you can customize it quite a lot and you do have a bunch of options over here it also has some skins and themes uh, that you can install and you also have something called freezer where if you're not using apps uh, for a while uh, you can freeze them so if for example for some reason uh, you don't use your calculator at all you can freeze it up and it'll be on your device but it'll not take up space on the screen it'll not take up any sort of processing or ram management required by the uh, device or by that app let's talk about the camera real quick so it is a depth focus enabled camera so you jump into bokeh mode it's got that software bokeh effect going on uh, it looks okay you can increase and decrease uh, the bokeh with the slider which is over here you also have something called face cute mode which allows you to basically replace faces with stickers i'm going to test this out later on you also have a beauty mode a photo mode which is a standard mode you can also install filters over here so preloaded filters then you also have a video mode and i'm assuming the maximum you can capture is 1080p which is what it shows over here the phone overall seems really snappy for the price and for the kind of hardware it has uh, will it be able to game? Will it be able to do some of the things that uh, other smartphones can do? I'm not too sure. You do have dual SIM capabilities on this device and the location of the fingerprint sensor is also quite interesting. Easy to use in fact. There's really nothing else. It's a very clean install. You do have all of these applications that you may not want to use but it's good that some of these can be removed and the rest of them can be frozen. Some system components like this one for example can't be uninstalled but right off the bat i do have a small update here as well which can be installed on the device so the phone is running a mediatek 6750t chipset it does have 3 gigabyte of ram and 32 gigabyte of onboard storage and if i quickly pop open the sim tray which has this weirdly long sim ejector 
you can see that it is a hybrid tray and uh, you can either use one sim card with micro sd card or you can use two sim cards both of them are nano sim cards and it goes into the top so quite again location of the sim tray and the way the sim tray is is quite identical to the s8 itself so you can see that the display on the s8 goes all the way to the sides which it does not on this so you do have considerable amounts of bezel you can see this black line on the side of the phone which you will not once this phone manages to power on so you can see that on the S8, there are no black lines on the edges, or even if there are, it's very small and you can't really notice them. And even the bottom edge and the top edge are considerably smaller. But as far as pricing is concerned, and the overall look of the phone is concerned, it's quite identical, but it is thicker. It does have a protruding camera a little bit. You do have a small camera bump. And, um, but you do have those curved sort of LG-like displays. So it is a curved 18 to 9 display, which looks kind of nice. So if you guys want me to test this further, check out gaming, check out the camera, and maybe even a full review of the Blue Boo S8, do let me know in the comment section below. If you guys want a giveaway for this, do let me know in the comment section below. I might be interested in giving away one Blue Boo S8. So that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to hit that like button if you liked this device. If you are not already subscribed to iGAN, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Between Bharat Nagpal, I will see you guys in the next one.